again, friends. This is your host, Josh Harris of What You Brewing. Today we are in downtown Toledo, five days before the opening of this brewery, the Black Cloister. And we were invited in for a special visit, so we're going to head inside and take a look around. My name is Aaron Widener. I'm from Faustoria. Uh, we came here because we are fellow home brewers uh, and we're excited to see home brewers actually uh, take the next step and, and do what these guys have done. I followed them through Facebook, uh, seeing all of their, their progress for the last two years. And uh, actually I'm a fellow Lutheran, so that's even cooler uh, to see them go from home brewers two years later to where they are now. Uh, and getting their start and we wish them nothing but the best. We're Mug Club members uh, and we can't wait to come back over and over again. Well right now I'm here with Tom Schaefer, the president of the Black Cloister. Uh, Tom, welcome. Thank you. Thanks for being on the show. I'm yeah, uh, I so it. excited to have uh, Black Cloister come to Toledo. Can you tell us a little bit about the brewery? Well, we're glad to be here, too. Uh, so we're right downtown, right in the heart of Toledo, a block from the ballpark on the corner of Monroe and Erie Street. Um, we've got a seven-barrel brew system uh, that we're brewing in that was made for us by Brewmation, a, a company out of uh, New York. And um, uh, it's an electric system, so pretty unique in that fashion also. Right. Um, now there's a lot of history actually involved in you sticking with the electric system, right? Yeah, this building was built in 1874 and it was the first building to be wired for electricity in the city of Toledo. Wow, that's interesting, uh, especially getting into a historical uh, place like this. Even uh, there's another brewery across the way that had a, a hotel that was used by Abraham Lincoln. So it's really cool you're able to uh, bring some of the history in with it. Um, now tell me about, you have a little hot bill. Um, in the middle of the yeah. brewery here that you're thinking about yeah, growing. So there's an enclosed atrium uh, between our uh, brew house and between the tap room and uh, our plans are is to, is to grow hops in that space. It's great because uh, the atrium runs clear up to the roof which is a three-story building and you want to grow hops as tall as you can. They can grow up to about right. 20 feet high. Mm -hmm. um, what we're looking at doing with those hops once we get a harvest is uh, it'll allow us to do some things with our own hops and to do what's called uh, wet hopping also which is the fresh picked uh, hops that you would use and pick them and put them right into the beer. Okay. Yeah. That's neat. I've never even heard of that. I've heard of dry hopping, never wet hopping, so that's always good to learn something new. <laughs> um, well, how long have you actually been brewing yourself? So I've been brewing now for I think it's about six years at this point. Um, uh, all of us that are the founders, we've all been brewing for some length of time or another. Bob Hall, one of my partners, has actually been brewing since 1971. A long, long time. Right. <laughs> um, yeah, well, here we are. We're five days away from the actual grand opening of the Black Cloister, and I look around and we have a lot of people here. What's going on? So we have a soft opening going on tonight. It's a friends and family night. Some of our contractors that have worked on the building, some media. Uh, and some other folks are here to uh, just help us train my staff a little bit and celebrate a little bit. Right. Yeah, I just went on a tour with you, Tom, and it was uh, very interesting. He loves talking beer. You can just tell. He's walking around <laughs> right now like, like a kid in a candy store. I mean, everyone here is enjoying themselves and enjoying the beers. How many different beers do we have on tap right now? So we have three different beers on tap right now. We have a Belgian Blonde called Marty. We have a Pale Rider, which is a hybrid beer. It's a, it's a Pilsner recipe brewed with a ale yeast but brewed at a cool temperature and so it has kind of a lager flavor to it mm -hmm. and then we have Rose of Shannon which is an Irish red which uh, if obviously I'm partial but I think it's one of the best Irish reds I've ever had right yeah I love Irish reds now is there anything coming up that you're thinking about brewing that's gonna be really interesting something our viewers should know so uh, we have back in the fermenters right now uh, our second version of our Belgian blonde a little bit higher alcohol content for those of you that like that kind of thing we have an IPA brewing back there, which is an absolute hot bomb. About 100 IBUs in that one. And then there's a, a Belgian Cezanne that's back there also. Yes. And they should all be off in about 10 days. 
Okay, so you're sticking with the Belgian theme around yeah. here and stuff, uh, which I love. I, I mean, one of my favorite beers is the Belgian Triple, which I actually got to sample at the uh, Brew Fest. Yeah, thank That's, you. And I was so glad to meet Tom. If any of you that were down at the Glass City Beer Fest, uh, we had a great time. Hundreds and hundreds of beers to sample from. One of the best right here. Uh, so I'm here with Tom. Thanks very much for being on our show, Thanks and uh, we will see you around. Hope to see you soon. Um, March 20th, right? March 20th. Look forward to seeing you. <laughs> Well, friends, this has been an exciting day down here at the Black Cloister Brewery in Toledo, Ohio. Looking forward to their opening day on March 20th. Uh, I've got to spend some time having a couple craft brews or really good beers here. Uh, met some nice people and got to take a nice tour of the brewery. Um, thank you for watching another episode of What You Brewing.